As we're solving our systems of equations using substitution, it's important that we are aware of some funny things that might happen. Remember, our goal is to find out where the two lines intersect with each other, what the solution is to both equations. The points on the line of the first equation work in the first equation. The points on the line in the second line are the solutions to the second equation. Where they overlap is the solution to both equations. However, s when we're using algebra to represent this, sometimes the variables will subtract out to zero. If this happens, it means there is either no solution... That's where we had parallel lines. If you remember, graphing parallel lines. Or there are infinite solutions. And that's where the graphs were in parallel, but the graphs were actually the same line, right on top of each other. So let's see if we can identify what's happening here with this first example. x plus 4y equals negative 7, and 21 plus 3x equals negative 12y. We see this lone variable here of x. We want to get him alone. To do that, we got to get rid of the plus 4y. And we can do that with negative 4y on both sides. Now that equation is x equals negative 4y minus 7. And if x is equal to this stuff, we know we can plug that stuff in for x in the other equation. 21 plus 3x, or negative 4y minus 7, equals negative 12y. Solving then, we'll distribute, and we get 21 minus 12x minus 21 equals negative 12y. Combining like terms, 21 minus 21 is nice, that's 0, so we have negative 12y, I'm sorry, negative 12y equals negative 12y. We want to get the variables all on one side, so we'll add 12y to both sides. But when we do that, we're left with 0 equals 0. There's no more y's left. Be careful here, this does not mean that y is equal to 0. There are no more y's left. We don't know what y equals. All we know is 0 equals 0. But is that accurate? Yes, it is. That makes sense. There's no problem there. If 0 always equals 0, then one equation will always work in the other equation. What this is saying is these are both actually the same line. There are infinite solutions. Because we got something that makes sense to us. 0 equals 0. That makes sense. These must be the same line. Let's try another example. In the second example, we see the lone variable of y in the first equation. So to get him alone, we'll subtract 5x from both sides. And that gives us y is equal to negative 5x and a positive 3. And then, as usual, we can take that stuff that y equals and replace the y in the other equation. So we now have 8 minus 3 times negative 5x plus 3 equals 15x. Continuing to solve then, we'll distribute through the parentheses. 8 plus 15x minus 9 equals 15x. Combining the like terms, we get negative 1 plus 15x equals 15x. We want the variables all on one side, so we'll subtract 15x from both sides. And when we do that again, we end up with negative 1 equals 0. The x's have subtracted out completely. This does not mean x is 0. We don't have any x's left. What we need to do is look at this and say, does this make sense? Does negative 1 equal 1? Is negative 1 and 0, sorry, 0, is negative 1 and 0 the same value? 
No, that doesn't make sense. And because this doesn't make sense, that means no value for the first equation will also work in the second equation. We have parallel lines. We have no solution because when the variable subtracted out, what we had left made no sense to us. Negative 1 and 0 are not the same thing. So as we're solving, we're careful of these special cases. They don't happen often, but when they do, if the variable subtracts out, then it means there is either no solution or infinite solutions.